These are the best tips for a toddler's haircut. I will be showing you the easiest way to start a haircut, when and where to use clipper over comb, where to start the taper, where to take your taper, and how to work with your blending clippers when it comes to blending and fading. I'm gonna even show you guys how to properly edge up a one year old, not just in the front of the hairline, but on the back taper line as well. This isn't just me teaching you how to properly edge up a one year old, but to properly keep them still. Speaking of still, let's pull out them shears and I'm gonna show you guys how to properly do some shear work, okay? Some good techniques to get you going and some good techniques to keep your client distracted while you get to work. Welcome to Swift Tips. This is the five best swiftiest tips of them all for a toddler's haircut. Brought to you by the one and only DK the Barber. Take a good look now at this before because this transformation gonna be crazy. Let's jump in. Pull out a comb of your choice. In this video, I'm using the wall comb and go ahead and brush throughout his entire hair, making sure there's no knots, there's nothing in their hair, and also checking the scalp for any marks, moles, or scars. Slap that two clip on your blending clippers lever close and let's get to work. What we wanna do is cut over and around the ear. Don't go higher than the crown of the head. You wanna leave this area open and ready to work with clipper over comb. Which brings me into tip number one. When you're cutting a baby's hair, you wanna make sure you're using bigger clips. And what I mean by bigger clips is you've seen that I started this haircut off with a two. If this was a grown up, I would've used a shorter clip. And even when we hop into the comb art right here in the video, I'm using a one clip on my blending clippers lever closed. This protects the baby's sensitive skin from the blades of the clipper and it also protects us barbers from making a bigger mistake than what's necessary. Let's face it, babies are gonna move and it's our job to take the necessary steps to keep them safe but also give them a nice finished fresh haircut. This goes especially for you professional barbers out there but you guys at home learning to cut hair too, you guys can take these and apply it to your arsenal and become a better barber. These small tips like this to keep your clients safe are the most important tips but let's hop back in the video. Now, when it comes to blending, it doesn't matter what clip you have on your blending clippers, you're gonna do the same thing and repeat the same step. You're gonna slap the clip on there, start with the lever closed, and you're gonna open it and work your way up, gradually pulling the lever back. This works with all clips. Remember, the higher you blend, the bigger the clip. The haircut I'm doing in the video is more of a modern day mullet mohawk. I used to call it a mohawk back in the day, but different barbershops have different terminology. Not only is this a stylish haircut to get, but it's also a very easy haircut to give. Which leads me directly into tip number two, understanding what you can and cannot do as the barber. For example, I'm laying a zero gap five star magic clip blending blade on my client's skin. I've been a barber, a licensed barber for over a decade and cutting hair in general for almost two decades. I feel comfortable enough to do this, but I don't suggest you do this if you're a rookie barber. So you have to know where your skill set lies. Understanding what you can and cannot do is important because every true professional knows their strengths but more importantly their weaknesses this tip goes as deep as the choice of the haircut some parents go into barber shops expecting a perfect haircut but not realizing their kid is moving around crying throwing a fit causing a scene within the barber shop and this is pretty much a moving canvas for this barber so as the barber you have to understand what you can on cannot do and explain to the parents what haircut might fit best let's keep it pushing to tip Tip number three, the art of distraction. This tip is crazy important when it comes to toddlers, kids, or babies. You need to keep them distracted because they're going to be more concerned with what's going on with this buzzing noise in their ear. Some kids are ticklish. Some kids don't want you touching them. Some are just so curious they want to look around. So having a toy tractor, setting some clippers to the side, letting them see them, letting them hold a brush can be so important to the haircut, to getting the haircut done. Because getting through this haircut is the most important thing. You need to get through this haircut fast and efficient. When it comes to the kids, toddlers, and the babies, you never know what you're gonna get. You might get excited, you might get hyper, you might get sad, you might get dramatic, you know? You might even get that crazy little psychotic guy, that little one, that little crazy fellow, you know what I mean? But you guys gotta prepare as barbers to kinda adjust and prepare for anything these kids throw at you. You can't always control how they act, but you can control the outcome of the haircut, and you can control how they feel in the chair and the way you treat 
protect them. They will remember the next time they come into the barbershop. So do your best to set the tone and connect with your client, whether it's an adult, a kid, or even a baby, okay? And what I mean by set the tone is just make sure they're vibing, which brings me into tip number four. See how he's dancing? He's vibing. He's in a good mood. You can't see it, but I'm dancing behind the camera, making sure he's having a good experience. But before we get into tip number four, let me go ahead and give you some tips on edging. So when it comes to the kiddos, you want to keep all the edges relatively natural. That's if the parent actually wants to do an edge up. Be very light handed with the clippers, but a firm grip with the opposite hand that you have the clippers in. In this area where the 90 degree lines meet up, you want to use the trimmers in this area. Normally, I will have you hit these areas with the razor and the razor only, especially when you're working with an adult. But we're working with the kiddos in this video, so we want to keep them safe. So no razors, guys. Now that we got that out of the way, let's bring it back to tip number four for a second. So setting the vibe, making sure you're setting the tone. What I mean by setting the tone is make sure that your client always feels welcome. Make sure they're having a good experience. Now, there are different ways to set the tone and connect, but this is more of a social skill. You could play different types of music, but I like to engage in conversation. You know, if I see that he has an interest in something, I will bring that up in conversation, engaging with the client, showing him that I care about what he has to say. You know, at the end of the day, they are just little people. If you guys are interested in me having one-on-one -on -one conversations, podcast style with random people, diving deep into their story, go ahead and check out the playlist called Chop It Up here on my channel. Now, let's hop into some shear work. What I want you guys to do is grab the shears and the comb with the same hand, and as you grip the hair with your comb, you're gonna wanna switch your comb from hand to hand, allowing you to take them shears and cut the hair that you grabbed. If you rewind the video and rewatch it, you'll see what I'm talking about. You guys, it will take some practice getting this down, but do what you can with what you have and with what you know. If you don't have shears, use clipper over comb, the technique I showed you earlier in the video. Remember guys, there's more than one way to solve a problem. Speaking about problems, we're coming towards the end of the video, but before we go, let's hop into our fifth and final tip, which is simply just go with the flow, guys. When you're working with babies, kids, or toddlers, they're gonna move around, let's face it. So let's be prepared to work with them. If they look left, let's blend right. If they look down, let's be ready for that back taper all the great barbers find rhythm and sequences to cut hair in but all that goes out the window when you're working with a kid thank you so much for watching till the end of the video until next week guys like share subscribe gotta go